Hello, and welcome to this eGrow instructional video series. This was entitled, How to Implement a Biologic Control Program. My name is Raymond Cloyd. I'm a professor and extension entomologist at Kansas State University in the Department of Entomology. This topic today is going to be focusing primarily on implementing a biocontrol program to deal with various insect and mite pests in your greenhouse production system. The first thing to understand is that biologic control is not a reactive strategy. It's a preventative strategy, which means you have to be out there releasing beneficials before the pest populations start reaching outbreak proportions. In order to actually have or establish a successful uh, biocontrol program, you have to have a scouting program in place, whether it be using active scouting or passive scouting or a combination of both. Without that, you will not be successful in establishing or implementing a successful biologic control program. There are several different types of biologic control agents that are often referred to natural enemies. The first one are parasitoids. These are parasitic wasps that basically the females lay their eggs into the unsuspecting host, the egg hatches, the larva inside consumes the internal contents of the host, and then basically comes out as an adult. Number two are predators. Those are insects or mites that go ahead and eat or consume the prey. And number three are we call beneficial nematodes. These are microscopic roundworms that are mostly used to deal with fungus ant larval populations because they need moist conditions in order to survive. So let's talk about some of these natural enemies or biocontrol agents that you can purchase commercially from suppliers or distributors. Well, first of all, this one right here is Aphidius colmani. This is a parasitic wasp or parasitoid that attacks different aphid species, primarily green peach and melon aphid. This one right here is a container of a mixture of different parasitoids in the event you don't know which aphid you're dealing with. This is a mixture of Aphidius colmani and Aphidius irvi. That allows you for releases against green peach aphid, melon aphid, potato aphid, and foxglove aphid. This right here is a predatory mite called Phytoseus persimilis, which is used widely against the two-spotted spider mite. This container holds what uh, we call the minute pirate bug, or aureus. This is a predator of primarily western flower thips. The benefit of this one is both the adults and nymphs feed on most of the life stages of western flower thrips. This one right here is a newer one called Amblyseus swirsky, which is being widely used for western flower thrips and white flies. What's extremely critical in order to succeed using biologic control is making sure that your natural enemies or biocontrol agents are alive. We do know for a fact that dead insects and mites will not control live insects or mites. So we call this quality control. And what that means is assessing the product that you get and making sure that the individuals in those packages are actually alive. You can do this in several ways. For predators, what you can do is take the container, open the lid, and you sprinkle just a small quantity of the material, this is the carrier, on a white piece of paper, and then take your 10x hand lens, 10x hand lens, and look for the predatory mites or bugs moving around. If they're not, then you might want to contact the supplier and distributor and let them know there might be a problem and send it back to them. When you're going to use biocontrol agents, or again, natural enemies, there are two things to think about. One is you want to order them early in advance, probably about two weeks in advance to make sure the supplier and distributor has a consistent availability of the specific natural enemies you're looking for. And number two, when you get your natural enemies, you want to make sure you release them immediately because a lot of times they will not have an alternate food source as such. So you want to get them out there early on and you want to release them in the early morning or late in the evening so they can acclimate and start attacking your insect and mite pests. In addition to getting biologic control agent and natural enemies in containers, there are other formulations that you may receive them as. First of all, there are these little cards that contain parasitized white flies. What you do with these is you basically position them right near the plant, and the parasitoids will come out of those parasitized white fly and attack the white flies on the plant. Another way you could get natural enemies is what we call sachets. Sachets are usually used for predatory mites. What you do with these is very similar, is you position them right near the plant, the predatory mites will come out of there and they will attack those insects or mite pests you're trying to deal with. 
If you have any questions or require more information regarding this instructional video, you can contact me at the Department of Entomology, Kansas State University. My information, both phone and email, will be listed at the end of this video.